29, the new W-I-K-S, Greenfield, minute after 9. This is Hutch with you, with a cash call for $1,000 this hour. Answer that telephone, I listen to the new W-I-K-S. Baby, we can talk all night But that ain't getting us The new WIKS. This is Hutch with you at 906. Nice day today. High about 80 degrees. Nice and sunny and 61 degrees now. Ninety-nine, the new WIKS in heat of the moment. Speaking of heat, this is the day that uh, former President Nixon escaped the heat. Today is pardon day, the anniversary of Richard Nixon's full, free, and absolute pardon for all offenses committed against the United States. Of course, Mr. Nixon uh, didn't commit any offenses against the U.S., he said, but he accepted the pardon anyway because, Keith, it makes a great ID when he needs to cash a check. And, uh, really? In fact, he's doing that right now. He's over in uh, China. He China. was on Ted Koppel's Nightline last night, and he was mentioning the fact that the Chinese think that the Americans are unsophisticated in some of their decisions. That uh, kind of blew right over me how a nation where the ones who aren't starving are eating with two sticks, uh, they could think we're unsophisticated, but... Well, they can think whatever they want over there because uh, there's so gosh darn many of them, you know? <laughs> to borrow a phrase from the president, you'll have to pardon me, but... <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I don't either. Uh, some things are happening over in Switzerland. The Swiss cabinet will be meeting today trying to decide whether to let a special Polo Polish commando squad come in and take care of the situation at the Polish embassy in Bern, Switzerland. We'll get into all those stories in about 10 minutes here at the new WIKS. The new WIKS. 916. 16 after 9 with Hunch, our second commercial free hour in a row. A double shot. Ninety-nine, the new WIKS. 919. 19 after 9 o'clock. The problem in Switzerland with the Polish folks is still going on this morning, right? That's here. right, you might say it's Poland held hostage. Day yes. Three. Polish authorities say they have anti terrorist commandos standing by to fly to Switzerland, where gunmen are still holding five hostages inside the Polish embassy. Right now it's uh, semi sunny, 62 degrees at the new WIKS. Thank you. 921, commercial free sports wise. Top seeded Martina Navratilova was denied a shot at the Grand Slam and a $500,000 bonus yesterday. Baseball, National League, big news, Los Angeles won, and the Braves lost. That puts Los Angeles back in the top spot in the National League West. Haven't been there since the 10th of August. We're in our second commercial free hour in a row for you, a double shot. This is Gypsy from Fleetwood Mac at the new WIKS. The new WIKS. Beautiful, beautiful Wednesday today. Sunny and mild. High about 80 degrees. Same thing for tomorrow. A little warmer. High about 83 for tomorrow. Right now we have 63 degrees and gorgeous skies at the new WIKS. Ninety-nine, the new WIKS, nine thirty-five, twenty-five till ten, commercial free with Hutch. Second commercial free hour in a row, and it's time now for pick your news. True stories that you don't hear everywhere, but since we love you, we know that you need to know. We'll tell you about it. According to the Indianapolis Star this morning, the Michigan Attorney General's Antitrust Division and a Michigan businessman have been successful in stopping the Seventh Day Adventist Church from influencing book publishers and suppliers not to deal with him because he was charging cheaper prices than they were. The church signed a consent judgment, <laughs> which agrees that uh, the government won't do anything to him in return for them not having to admit whether they were guilty or innocent. 
earlier, Keith and I were discussing this, and Keith proposed that they might try this at, with St. Peter, cutting some kind of a deal that they would not do anything wrong again if they didn't have to admit whether or not they did anything wrong in the first place. And our uh, religious editor here figures that if they tried that at the Golden Gate, they probably wouldn't have a prayer. And that's the way it is. <laughs> From the new W-I-K-S. The new WIKS, Paul McCartney and Ringo and Linda there. Take it away at 9.40.20 till 10. Keith, what's in the news, Asar? Well, the, uh, can, the situation continues at the Polish embassy in Bern, Switzerland. The uh, Polish cabinet, or the Swiss cabinet, will decide whether to allow Polish commandos to try to get in there and solve the problem. And there's something very special coming up. At, this uh, weekend at Indianapolis Eagle Creek Park. Yes. They're going to recreate the year 1760. You know they had no deodorant back then? No. Oh, no. Maybe, maybe I won't go then. <laughs> Bathe in the creek. Can you imagine that? No. That, they're well, gonna, Now, they're going to have Indians and the whole deal out there, right? They'll have uh, participants portraying Indians. Outhouses. And French and British soldiers and... Well, dysentery and There's other one thing amoebic that disorders. And famous, famous <clears throat> observation George Washington made about Indians, too. Uh, you remember what that was, don't you? No. He said, the squaw who speak with forked tongue can teach brave many new tricks. <laughs> Commander Hutch, W-I-K-S.